we have Mercury going retrograde in March, and then we get a rest. <laughs> and then it will happen again almost all month in July and in November. When this planet goes retrograde, it means it's sleeping and we can't access its greatest powers. If you have heard the term, but are not really sure what it means, it doesn't literally go backwards. It looks like it's going backwards because other planets are moving faster. And it doesn't matter what sign you are. This is one aspect in astrology that affects everybody. When Mercury is retrograde, you must not sign a contract. If you do, you'll only have to sign it again and renegotiate it again later. It's also not the time to buy electronic items. The company may come out with a new product a week or two later, and then you're like, if I only had known, this is a much better model. You can lose things on transportation very easily, like your eyeglasses or your sunglasses or your smartphone or your tablet. So when Mercury is retrograde, it's very important to go slowly and deliberately. Now the good things. Mercury retrograde makes us go back. So think of words that start with RE. Readdress, rethink, re-examine. It's a good time to redo a report or redo your strategy. Let's say you've just suffered a setback. You're like, oh, I worked so hard and I didn't get that job or whatever it was. This is a wonderful time to think about why you might not have gotten it. One of the sweetest parts of Mercury Retrograde is that we run into friends we haven't seen in a long time, at least one friend. Now, I find it's okay to travel. I travel all the time with Mercury Retrograde. So be happy when Mercury's Retrograde. Unfortunately, some of the websites say how to survive Mercury Retrograde and they make people scared. Don't be scared. It's not tragic. It's just annoying.